Are you fed up with constantly searching for the records you want? Are you tired and frustrated from always straightening out your LPs? Now with KTEL Record Selector, this will never happen again. To choose your favorite music, tilt the first record forward. The others follow automatically. New from Oddity Archive, it's the easy, but not really, and fast, but not really, way to store and display your records. <coughs> I tell you, it is not getting any easier to do that voice. Anyway, today's Ben's Junk is on an item that I've been wanting to cover since I riffed the commercial for it and that I just reran a bit of. And uh, when did I riff that? Like last year? But anyway, this is the KTEL Record Selector. And at the time, I set up an automatic running Fleabase search for one of these things. And while I've seen a bunch of them come up for sale, they've always been listed for 25 to 50 bucks plus shipping, uh, which I thought was a lot for something that I know I am not going to like. But patience sort of paid off. And I got my hands on this circa 1972 unit, according to the box at least, for $7 plus shipping. Now, this was allegedly complete, but true to flea bay form, one of the cheap lightweight stands, plastic stands, was missing but it hasn't affected anything uh, in terms of functionality, at least in my limited use of this thus far. So uh, I'm not worrying about that. Actually, I think that's the least of my concerns. So anyway, my heart kind of sank when I found that you don't stick your records in the nice roomy spaces between these little plastic parallels, for lack of a better term, but they do indeed go in the ultra-tight little slots. And as I have found out thus far, not only do gatefold LPs not fit in here, but even some uh, single-style LP sleeves don't fit without screwing up the album cover. <laughs> More on that later. And I'd already thought about all this ahead of time, so uh, let me just state that I am not sticking any of my good albums in here. And if you see any albums from artists you like or whatever in here, uh, it's not a judgment on the albums. It's uh, they're already warped and or scratched and or have damaged sleeves. So nothing good, valuable or sentimentally important is getting used here. But anyway, let's do the montage thing, and I'll see if I can get this set up, and we'll test out the claims on the box. That was downright painful, and I can tell I damaged a few of the sleeves just trying to get them in here. But uh, I think I've already disproven one of the claims on the box, which is that it somehow protects your records. Mm, yeah, I'm calling BS on that one. So, uh, and of course, I stuck a KTEL album. Almost up front here. I have one more slot to fill, but before I put that last record in here, uh, one of the ones that I tried when I first got this, just sticking a couple records in here, it managed to separate, uh, you know, some of these old albums have the back artwork just pasted onto the cardboard, and this is one of them, Bette Midler's first album. 
but I noticed that it caused this to start separating and it uh, damaged it just a little not terribly but still it's an annoyance and uh, as I mentioned I am short one record so let me try and install this one without destroying anything again and it's trying to yep it just separated the this again come on and uh, let me grab the camera real quick here I just want to point something out it indeed separated the back again so let me set this back up and uh, let's I, uh, I guess we'll test another claim I, I don't think uh, I need to go over that one anymore uh, there's a claim on the box about finger touch starting. And uh, I think that's a bit of a misnomer, because uh, when I think finger touch, it means I should just rest my finger or something, and it should start doing whatever, instead of having to exert any specific movement or force. But uh, nonetheless, let's see if not only does this work, but uh, let's see if I can do this with as little effort as possible. So obviously just touching it's not going to do anything. So let me try and pull it forward. Nope, I just have to yank it. And... Okay. So it doesn't uh, uh, even go that far. And I think I've already nullified the next claim and that's uh, running fast or slow and slow this is a mis another misnomer you're supposed to be able to have it happen automatically but that's only fast otherwise for slow it's one record at a time and now it's starting to do things so uh can i get this thing i, I know i don't have the record set in here super well but Let's see if I can't make this happen with something resembling efficiency. Nope. Of course, this Monkeys album just popped out completely. Again, it's already all scratched up. Don't worry about it. Boy, that's just... That's bad. Okay, so... And, well, yeah, kind of, I'm afraid it's going to flop forward. No, it didn't. Amazing. I honestly thought this whole thing was going to flop forward, although it's close. It's dangerously close. Let me grab the camera again. So, check that out. Oh, Lord. All right, so uh, another claim that this thing makes is that it's supposed to... Oh, this is so unwieldy. Uh, another claim that this item makes on the box is that it's supposed to stop automatically. So let me show that off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out one record at a time, one from towards the front, one from somewhere in the middle, and one from somewhere in the back, and we'll see if it stops where it's supposed to. So let me pull this Donnie Iris album out, and that's the fourth or fifth one in, so let's try it. Well, it works, uh, works that much. So let me, let me pull out a decidedly lightweight sleeve one, this uh, David Lindley album. Good album, but I scratched the crap out of it and I've replaced it. So let's try this again. Hey, success! Uh, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. 
And this last one, let's take out uh, this, uh, let's take out this one from that uh, specialty LP episode I did. That CompuDisc thing. And let's give it another go. I just instinctively put out my hands. I don't trust this. Yep, and oh! <laughs> Uh, and uh, according to the box, let me just state here that there are no other parts. There are not supposed to be any other parts aside from that one missing stand. So uh, there are no weights or anything involved. Uh, I just thought I'd point that out. Okay, let me try and just move this back a little more and we'll give it one more shot. Put it in a little safer spot, although again, instinctively. And then it just kind of pooped out. There we go. It's tilting precariously forward again. So maybe I ought to try and stick that back in here. Apparently the whole integrity of this hinges on the one record, which I can barely get back in position. Okay, I'm done playing with this thing. That's it for today's Ben's Junk, and uh, man, junk is no lie. I'll talk to you again soon.